Your WNEM TV5 News Update. Good afternoon, I'm Colette Boyd. Among our top stories this afternoon, a woman has died after a house fire in Grand Blanc Township early yesterday morning. The fire department says a home on Centerville Road had flames visible from the roof and heavy smoke inside the house. Neighbors said the woman who lived there still had to be inside because her car was in the driveway and she had limited ability to move easily. Firefighters searched the home but could not find her due to the conditions inside. After the search, most of the floor collapsed into the basement. The woman was eventually found with the help of a MSP cadaver dog. With new details in the case against Rashad Trice, federal prosecutors will not seek the death penalty against him. He's accused of kidnapping and killing two-year-old Winter Cole Smith. Trice is indicted on one count of kidnapping and one count of kidnapping resulting in death. If convicted, he faces at least 20 years to life in prison for the first charge and a minimum of life in prison for the second charge. He's also facing state charges. Local leaders are coming together tomorrow at Bethel AME Church to address unique problems faced by African-American students at a summit. Organizers say gun violence, gang activity, other crimes are all fueled by the education system, elimination of affirmative action, and more. A panel of experts will be discussing the challenges tomorrow at 10 a.m. The event is free and open to the public. Now here's Diane with a look at your forecast. We are going to be watching later on this evening as rainfall will be moving back in. So though we are finding right now we have kind of that calm and quiet going on. You don't want to have your rain gear too far away from you because that cold front that's towards our west, that's got to come into town and switch everything up. So for the day today, we're going to have these mostly cloudy skies and dry weather. The cold front doesn't work its way through until about dinner time or shortly thereafter. That's when we're going to be finding we have some scattered showers, may even have a thunderstorm that tries to mix in. So don't be shocked if you hear a rumble of thunder. A lot of that energy is going to be geared towards our northern counties, but still everybody has a chance of picking up on a shower. So those are going to remain a little bit scattered through the rest of our Friday evening. Overnight, though, as those winds shift to become out of the northwest, we'll find that we have some lake effect cloud cover. So at times on Saturday, it's going to be dry. We'll have some sun, a few clouds hanging around, but those clouds do build back in later on Saturday because rainfall works itself in Saturday night into Sunday morning. A lot of it will be south of town, but it will be clipping our southern counties. And then as we go throughout the day on Sunday, we're watching this bout of energy that fills in behind because some models are bringing it into mid Michigan. Others are keeping it further south. So this is going to be something that we have to get closer to the event and pick up on more data. As far as the winds today, they're really allowing us to warm up. That's why we saw 70s already at lunchtime. So those southwest winds are around 25, getting towards 30 miles per hour. That's really the source, though, of this late October warmth. But here comes some more October-like weather. Those northwest winds that settle down over the weekend will cool out your weekend forecast. But for your Friday afternoon and evening plans, very mild outside with the 70s and 60s, though we will be watching mainly after sunset to be seeing those rain chances pop back up. A preview, though, of your Halloween forecast. We're going to be looking at lake effect at that point, so plan on a few scattered showers. Might even have a little bit of snowflakes or one or two that try to mix in there because we're going to be seeing temperatures into the 30s. So it's going to be chilly. It's not going to be the worst Halloween forecast, but it's definitely one that might give some of you a little bit of a fright. Your first alert seven day forecast cools on out, though, for next week. We go from 70s today into the 40s next week, and we hang out there with the cooler air. That means that we'll be looking at some lake effect, so you can see those those chances do exist mainly on Halloween, but we'll be also seeing some times of some clouds and some sun by the time we get to next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.